Hi, I'm Michael. Let's take a look at how people use Lumio by exploring one of our demo groups. The Oatmilk Co-op team wants to help people in the organization to be engaged and involved in decisions that affect them. They are using Lumio to collaborate on their work together, to communicate, share relevant information, and progress work openly. They are working on creating a safe, trusted space that builds an archive of their decisions and the discussion that led to them. We are looking at their Lumio group page, where there is an image and logo that represents their organization, along with a description welcoming people into the group and letting everyone know what this group is used for and why it is important. As we walk through this demo, keep in mind the key elements of Lumio, group, thread, and polls. Lumio helps people come together in a group, have discussions and threads, and make decisions using polls so as to reach an outcome. Lumio threads are like a container for a discussion. Usually the thread is focused on a particular topic. In this thread, Chloe is interested in preparing a new service for Oat Milk Co-op. She has launched a thread and given it a title, and in the thread context has provided some background along with a link to a document describing the service. Chloe is asking for contributions, ideas, and any concerns that people may have. Jayesh and Vivian have written comments of support and Vivian asked Takashi if he can help Chloe by mentioning him in the thread. Takashi received a direct notification via email and his reply is indented in the thread. Notice that the thread title is very like the subject line in an email and the thread context is like the body text in an email. So you can use threads instead of sending broadcast emails. People's comments and replies are posted in the thread so avoiding those long, annoying, and confusing email chains. You can also reduce your email inbox by setting notifications so that you get just the right information that is important to you. So when you write a comment in a thread, you can be comfortable knowing that only those people who have permission to see the thread are able to see your comment and engage. You are not bothering people with lots of emails. With the Lumio thread, you can see who has seen the thread and when and who has been notified, and if they have read the thread or opened the email notification. This is helpful to know if you want to check who is missing from the discussion. Back on our group page, let's see how decisions are made. Jayesh is leading the work on strategy and has started a thread, including a link to a draft strategy document. He is asking people to read the draft and contribute to the work. Vivian has posted a comment concerned that the strategy does not have a strong enough focus on climate change and included a web link. Lumio shows a preview of the link. The discussion continues with Jayesh asking Mary to respond without mention. As the work proceeds, Jayesh then raises a type of poll called proposal, asking group members to approve the strategy. Raising a poll in a thread lets everyone know that something is happening. This work is progressing to the next stage. In this case, being asked to make a decision to adopt the strategy. Voting is underway and you can see the current results and how people have voted so far. Before voting, I want to see why Vivian has voted disagree. So scroll down to see if she has left a reason. Vivian is still not satisfied the budget for climate change is sufficient. It's now time for me to vote. I think Vivian is right, so I also vote disagree and leave a reason. The results are updated immediately. Now there are two disagree votes. The proposal is at risk of failing. But that's okay, as Jayesh and the team can talk further with Vivian and together work to improve the budget and strategy document. Let's assume that Vivian's concerns have been addressed. I can now change my vote to agree and leave a reason. When voting closes, Jayesh can set an outcome, what happened and what will happen next. He can also then notify all of the members of our group. Click on the box to see who will be invited. An outcome of the decision is now set. Going back to our group page, let's now look at some other threads. Chloe has started a thread for community notices, a place to share information of interest to the group. 
Team members seem to like this and have responded with emojis, a great way to provide a quick reaction and encouragement. Chloe's first comment is about a workplace diversity report. Vivian has posted a meeting and tagged Takashi. Sanjay has posted a comment in Spanish. With Lumio's inline translation, I can read his comment in English. Lumio looks at the language your browser uses and offers the translate button when it detects another language. In response, Jayesh has posted a video embedding a link within Lumio. The last thread I'll show you shows how Oatmilk Co-op run a board meeting. Mary has started a thread to prepare for the meeting and invited feedback from the board about the focus of the meeting. She has also included the actions from the last meeting, assigned to members with a date due. Mary then started a time poll to find a suitable date for the meeting. One of several poll types, time poll saves a lot of back and forth, enabling people to state their availability for meeting time slots. Using the location of your browser, time poll displays the time slots in your time zone, wherever you are in the world, making it easier to find a time that works for everyone. I only need to vote for the time slots that work for me. Looking at current results, I use if need be and leave a reason to help the organizer choose a suitable time. It looks like Tuesday the 25th of October at 12 p.m. is the time slot that works best for everyone. Scrolling down, I see Mary is asking for agenda items. And Jayesh has posted a comment that he is running behind on his actions. Takashi posts details of the meeting, attaching the agenda and necessary board reports. Takashi continues to say he is going to post some administrative work in Lumio, so more time can be spent in the meeting discussing the most important topics. The admin work here is a simple poll to approve meeting minutes. I will vote accept and leave a comment. The next poll is to approve the financial statements. Let's say I have read those and also approve. And the last proposal poll is a resolution to approve a funding application. Note that as the thread progresses, a timeline forms on the right-hand side of the page. Polls and comments with headings are automatically pinned to the timeline, and you can pin any other comment manually. The timeline helps people arriving into a discussion to quickly see thread milestones and progress of the work. Use it to quickly navigate to a particular item. Let's go back to our group page. And there's one other thread in the demo that's worth looking at. Refreshing our brand is an example of the group running a simple decision process using a thread template. Check it out in the demo and learn how to set up decision processes for your organization and help. I hope you found this interesting. Don't hesitate to get in touch with any questions. We're here to help. Bye for now.